Hello, good day friend. Today we will talk on C sharp how to start task in different ways. So let's see. We can start a task by creating a task and then with the start method. We can start a task using task.factory.start new method. Also, you can start a task using task.run method. So, let us see all these in action. So, I am here in Visual Studio console application. So, let me take a new task. Okay. Uh, you can see Red Wiggle. I need to import the namespace to system.threading. Tasks name space now let so you can pass lambda you can pass lambda function and then if you leave it as it is if I run it see nothing happens we need to start it explicitly so here is the output you can also pass uh, action that is let me take a new function let me name it test can pass action you can see the uh, signature you can pass action to a task so you can pass test to it and if you run it you can see the test method okay now there is another uh, the other two ways is you can use task Starting, I can pass lambda. You can pass lambda to it as well. Now, now let me put a value. Now remember, start new returns a task. Though we can fire start method, but it may it will will throw exception because the task has already started let me show it to you if i run it it's showing invalid operation exception start may not be called on a task that was already started so we cannot do that let me comment it out and let me run it you see it's test we can also pass action method to it. So if I run it, you see test method. There is another way you can straight away do. Sorry. And here also you can pass lambda. And We run it. That's it. So if, if you see, run also returns task, but we cannot call start on it. Just if we do so, it will get the same exception. To run also, we can pass test uh, action. Sorry. Yeah, now if I run it, you see the th test method. Now start task factory, start new and task.run, they all use thread from thread pool. So that was how you can start a task in different ways in C sharp. Now having said that, we would like to know 
what is the difference between these three ways of starting a new task and when to use which one so let's see so if i create a new instance of a task you see this one takes an action maybe this test and then i can pass cancellation token to this instance i can creation options i can also pass creation options now what is creation options so let's see that so this is task creation option dot it says whether a task is uh, like you can specify whether a task is long running or run continuous asynchronously attached to parent deny child attach all these options you can set so we, we can pass cancellation token as well as creation option together so when you are creating a new instance when we are doing factory dot start new we can pass the action and then we can pass creation options also here we can pass cancellation token so let me pass cancellation token and then creation options dot say long running and then you can pass a scheduler task scheduler also now let us see the task dot run so in task dot run we have action we can pass action and then cancellation token like the when we are creating the new instance and that's it you cannot pass creation option in task.run you can only pass cancellation token and the action so in case of this one new task since so what we are doing we can pass the action uh, creation options and cancellation cancellation token and then for this one let's see start new we can action creation option cancellation token as well as task task scheduler okay and for this one we can not pass creation options we can only do this action and cancellation token so that's what we saw you see So that was the difference between these three. Thank you for watching this.